Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. I came across this incredible image while surfing the web this week and it's something that I've never seen before. For a start I wondered if it was some kind of modern bunker, maybe some kind of wartime hideaway. But then I realised that this huge dome structure is actually cut directly from the bedrock, which I believe is sandstone. And it reminded me of the rock cut monolithic churches of Ethiopia. I found out that this structure is situated in the Samangan province of Afghanistan and is more than 1,500 years old. It is known as Takht e Rostam, and what we are looking at isn't a church or a mosque, but it is a Buddhist stupa monastery complex, located 2km south of the town of Haybak and 3km southwest of the town of Samangan. Back in the 4th and 5th centuries AD, the area was part of the Kushano Sasanian Kingdom, a branch of the Sassanid Persians who established their rule in Bactria, north of the Hindu Kush mountain range and south of the Amu Darya River. This area included modern day Afghanistan. Not many people know that Afghanistan was once the principal centre of Buddhist teaching and this dome stupa is an incredible example of this now lost history. This structure is entirely cut from the bedrock, a stupa surmounted by a harmaka with several rough cut caves around the base. A hoard of Ghaznavid coins were found by chance in one of these caves. Close by there are five more rock cut chambers, two of which are sanctuaries and one of them has a domed ceiling with an elaborate lotus leaf decoration. Nearby there is also an interesting square stone platform that measures 12.5 meters square. Here is an example of how the stones were cut to add metal or stone fastenings to tie the stones together. This is clearly a base of some kind of higher structure, which some suggest was the tomb of King Cambyses II, who reigned between 530 and 522 BC, because there is a great resemblance to the lower tiers of the tomb of his father, Cyrus the Great. The purpose and importance of the monastery were lost in the Muslim conquests of Afghanistan. History fell into myth and legend and the site was incorporated into Persian mythology in the story of Rostam and Sohrab, which is part of the 10th century Persian epic Shinema, written by the Persian poet Fedoski. In the story, Rostam, the son of Zal and Rudaba, a celebrated mythological hero, travelled to the kingdom of Samangan and stayed with the king at this site. Finding remnants of Buddhist history in Afghanistan is incredibly difficult. Once important sites have been turned to rubble after decades of war, neglect and destruction. Museum collections have been looted and damaged and the incredible stone-cut Bamiyan Buddhas were blown up and destroyed in March 2001 by the Taliban, by order of Mullah Mohammed Omar, an infuriating act of vandalism. After their destruction, that leaves the stupa of Takht e Rostum, which is arguably the most impressive piece of pre Islamic stonework in Afghanistan, and it has probably been protected because it was carved into the ground, just like the monolithic churches of Ethiopia. The stone carved Harmaka building on top of the dome once held important relics of the Buddha. The trench surrounding it is around 8 metres deep and a path leads down to the bottom of the trench, where Buddhist monks once clockwise circumnavigated the dome stupa. On the outer walls of the trench is the Buddhist monastery with five individual caves as well as several monastic cells for meditation. There are small holes in the roofs to allow in a little daylight, which created a powerful atmosphere of twilight. There are no decorative elements, but it is impressive as a sheer engineering feat. So why was the stupa built into the ground? Why not above it like most other stupas? Some think it was done on purpose as a type of camouflage, to protect the monastery from invaders. Others think it was done to simply escape the extreme sunshine and heat of the Afghanistan climate. Also, because close by there could be the tomb of an ancient king from 530 BC, some even think that this structure is more ancient than its given age. Because of the destruction of the Buddhist history in Afghanistan, we really don't know a lot more about this incredible ancient structure. 
The knowledge of its original purpose is now lost to history, and all we know from Persian legends is that this was the site where Rostam supposedly married his bride Tamina. What we do know is that this is an incredible piece of ancient engineering, and something that human history should be proud of. It's another piece of the human story, and a structure that should certainly be saved and protected. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.